Hello everyone and welcome to Sea Smoke. And tonight for dinner we are going to make some bang bang chicken. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make some homemade bang bang sauce. Which I'm going to do a little variation on because it calls for Thai chili sauce. And I thought I had bought some. Woo, I can't talk about I thought I had bought some and put it in my shopping cart. And for some reason, it did not make it back to my house. So we're going to use some apricot spread to substitute for the Thai chili sauce. Um, now we got to mix the sauce and not mix. We got to separate the sauce in half into two different bowls because we're going to put some of the sauce on our chicken before. Ah, uh, guess what? We're going to use a different cooking utensil today. We're going to, well, not utensil, but a new cooking item. We're going to actually use the air fryer tonight. So whenever we go to use our sauce, we're going to do half of it on our chicken when we get started cooking it. And then when our chicken's about done, we're going to brush more of the bang bang sauce on it afterwards. So here I have about a cup and a half of mayo. And like I said, I don't have any Thai chili sauce today. And I can't like run back to the store and get some today. So I'm going to use some apricot preserves as my sweetener. And I'm going to also put the red chili flakes in that that you would normally see in some Thai chili sauce. So, but apricots go good with chicken too. So hopefully this will give me the same effect that I want. And um, hopefully it's going to taste good too. If not, my husband is just going to have to eat it anyway. <laughs> All right, so I've got... I don't know, I guess about mm, three or four tablespoons of uh, apricot jelly because I actually need it about, I don't know, half a cup of the Thai chili sauce is what I need it. Alright, but I will put all the ingredients in the right proportions on the description. Alright, so I have the mayonnaise and I've caught in there and to make it more of the Thai chili kind of situation we're going to use some minced onion okay, sometimes I hate shakers because things like this do not want to come out right all right so let's dash like this but Let's be careful if you take the lid off because you don't want to like put everything, the whole container in your bowl. Because I mean, unless you like onions, that could be a serious situation there. And this one's garlic, so I'm really going to be careful with this one. And sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And this is minced garlic I'm putting in here. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me for being rude. Okay, and okay, Thai chili sauce has red um, pepper flakes in there, so I'm going to add that in there because that's what gives you the little spice you have in your Thai chili sauce. So we're going to sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle just to make it a little spicy. And of course, if you want it more spicy, you could add some sriracha if you like. You can add more chili flakes or whatever floats your boat there to make it how hot you want it. All right, I have some fresh coarse ground pepper I'm going to use. Now, since I'm using coarse ground pepper that's already grinded up, this is a little bit better, um, not better, excuse me, but a little bit bigger than regular uh, pepper you get in the can to shake out on your food. So remember, this is going to be a little bit hotter. So be careful about how much of this you use, too, because it's going to give you a little more kick than just regular powdered pepper that you would use. And, of course, you're going to smell it, too. So, you know, watch your nose because you're going to end up sneezing if you get too close. 
So I got that in there. We're going to add a little bit of salt. But like I said, I'm just eyeballing this, but I will put in the description exactly what you do need to put in there. And I'm going to put some voodoo seasoning in there, which is really not called for, but hey, this is my sauce. I think it's going to taste good, so I'm making it the way I want to eat it. I have some parsley. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. In there, because we like to shake it. Which I'm about out. I think I need to get some more. I think I've got a parsley habit there, huh? I used all my parsley more this time than I did my thyme. And y'all know I love my thyme. And of course, as usual, I have some thyme. Okay, so we're going to mix all this up together. And after you mix it and you get most of the mayonnaise not looking white, I'm going to check this myself really quick. All right, I think I got that good mix, so I'm just going to dab it with my finger and try it. Mm, I think it needs a little more spice. So I'm going to get a little sriracha to put in there to give it a little more uh, heat. And I um, think it needs some more, a little more of the onion and the garlic. Because normally that's something a little more prominent you taste. Like that. Boys, knock it off. So we're going to add a little bit more of the minced onion. Now, don't forget you could save this bang bang sauce for just a couple of days. But remember, it is mayonnaise based, so you're not going to want to keep it too long. But make sure you keep it in an airtight container. So, but you could, you know, keep it for a couple of days and still use it. But like I said, just remember it is mayonnaise, and mayonnaise does go bad sooner or later, especially if you mixed it with something else already than just the regular mayonnaise. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more pepper, just a little more salt, and now let me get that sriracha out so we can make it a tad bit hotter. Oh my goodness, oh y'all missed it. I just shot myself with some sriracha. Okay, well that's okay. That's what they got clean and spray for. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of sriracha in here. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit in there first and see if that's how I want it. And you can always remember, you can't take it out, but you can put it in. So do a little bit at a time so you can get it as hot as you like, but uh, be careful so you don't squeeze too much and make it too hot too quickly. Okay, we're going to add more. Because it's not very hot yet. At all. Mixy, mixy, mixy. should be able to do one more good dab or squirt whatever you would like to say it is as they say a dab to do you well that's my dab that was a bigger dab 
Yeah, now that's definitely got to be getting to where it needs to be. Because I know you're seeing it starting to turn a little red. Yep, that's where we want to be. Okay, and as I said, you're going to want to separate this in two bowls. And another reason I want you to separate it in two bowls, because yes, you're going to use some of it now on your chicken, and then use some more later on your chicken. But for safety purposes, you need to split it in two bowls, because you're going to be dabbing your uh, raw brush, chicken. your brush, in this sauce and putting it on raw chicken. And then later on, when your chicken's through cooking and you put more sauce on it, you don't want to rub what you've been putting your raw chicken, you know, take your brush that you've been rubbing your raw chicken with and then putting it on your cooked chicken. That is not good. Because trust me, you do not want no salmonella or food poisoning. That is not your friend. All right, so I have to up my bowl. That way I have two. And now I'm going to set this to the side and I'm gonna get my chicken and start cutting it in cubes. And then we're gonna cook it in batches in the air fryer because I have a large basket, but it's not like super big. So it will take probably a couple of batches. So give me just a minute to get my chicken. Okay, now I've preheated my air fryer and it's gonna be needed to be 400 degrees. And you're going to do it 11 to 12 minutes, and you'll flip your chicken over halfway through. So I'm spraying my pan with some cooking spray, and then I'm going to add my chicken that I put in my bang bang sauce, and we're going to put it in single layers for it to cook. Oh, wow, that went really great, didn't it? It's still stuck together. And like I said, you're going to have to cook this for 11 or 12 minutes and then turn it over halfway through. All right, here's that one. Well, let me wash my hands again. All right, now. All right, so now I'm going to put my air fryer on and we're going to put it at 400. And I need to do it for six minutes, and then we're going to flip it over. So I'm going to hit start, and there we go with that. <laughs> to also go with our meal tonight, I'm going to make dessert. I'm going to make a peach cobbler, and I'm doing it from a mix tonight. So I have a can of peaches. I can't even talk. A can of peaches with the syrup, and you got to have four tablespoons of butter and two thirds a cup of milk and the mix, the um, collard mix. So I'm trying to melt my butter now so it can go in my pan, which I have aluminum pan I've already sprayed, and I'm gonna put my butter in there, and then I'm gonna add my milk to my cobbler mix to mix it. Be careful with your hot butter. So I'm going to put that in the bottom of the pan because it says add your melted butter first. And now I'm going to give my daughter to give me the milk. You're not my daughter. No. I don't stand there. Now, let me see. Two thirds. There's my two thirds. So I need two-thirds of a cup of milk. All right, and we're done with the milk. So I have my cobbler mix in this bowl, which is kind of a big bowl, but that's okay. I'm going to pour the milk in here and make sure I mix the mix good, as it says to mix it good, because it's Kind of like a powder is my uh, spatula on there. Where? The red rubber one. This. Yep. Thank you. All right. 
So now I got all my powder mix. And whenever this bakes, it's going to come up over all my liquid anyway. And I have my oven at 375 because I just preheated it. So next, my cobbler mix goes in. So we're going to add that and I'm going to make sure I get all my mix out of the bowl. Yay, yay, yay. Because we like cobbler. Alright, and then we're going to add our whole cup of peaches, juice and all, on the top there. That sounded messy, but it's okay. Alright, now everything is in here. Now, the only thing we have to do is, and you know me in aluminum pans, if I feel like I can't trust how uh, how sturdy they are I'm going to use another pan so I'm going to take this one and put it in here and we're going to put this in the oven until the top's all nice and brown and bubbly and all our um, peach cobbler mix has set so we'll check on this in just a little bit so we're going to put that one up and my rice I'm cooking is done now we're just waiting to flip over our chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. My turn. We got some chicken, chicken. That says my turn. I, I get to see how I'm putting some sauce on my chicken. Okay, I guess she wants the camera now. Okay, now we've uh, sauced our first batch of chicken. Um, after doing this first batch, ours started getting a little dark, so we're going to readjust how long we're cooking it. So, ow! Ooh, holy moly. So, <laughs> it won't get so dark, but I'm going to give it a try and see how it is. It's really good and it's not too spicy or anything. So, yep. That I gave chicken? It. It's just <laughs> chicken. I gave it a thumbs up. Oh, that ain't one of them. Good. Okay, we're going to finish our batches. And don't forget, we're going to check on our cobbler a little bit. Alright guys, our peach cobbler is done now, so we're going to take it out of the oven. Look at there, it's all nice and golden brown. So we're going to let that sit and cool off a little bit because, you know, we don't want it to be nuclear lava in our mouth. And we'll give it a taste test in just a little bit. Alright guys, our peach cobbler is all done. So I got me some with a little bit of ice cream. So let's give it a try. Mmm. Nice warm peach cobbler with ice cream. Here's the spot. Alright guys, I hope this was a good video for y'all today. And I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, give us a thumb up, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Enjoy cooking. Hello everyone and welcome to Smee. Smee, listen to me. See <laughs> Smee. Just restart. <laughs> yeah. I need some